Baba, mo fe mo ni pojo ola mi ni. Suru o me mi suru. Ile ti pe ko si bile si le soto. Oju mo mo dandan. Mo mo baba, mo kan wu le fe gbara de ni, mo gbudo mo. Ko boro mo ka re mi. Yo bi ko ti mo to da lola sugbon ai gbo si nta ba mo ele da re lagbara po o ran ni o si sa mo ni bi bo bo mo ni o si tu olo o foju ni ju pe la mo ru mo le e bo ra oju sana a te bo ra mu mi a tu fi si ogun ran ni o iwole ni na ta yan ti o gbe ogun oluburi bo bo le kile a to laju ko laju ga mo wo wo lagbara to poju ye re opo ni o ma fe oluju fe olegun a ko ta gbe lo je fun pe yan bi mo ni mo ni se n dara re si se yi to si yo no le bu yo sa pe lagbara yo fara pe ti mo to atowo dowo sugbon agbara yi kene ti o mu kogo re bu yo yi na ni o bi sugu re o to ba wa ku wo nikan ko ti ru ara re pa Sengu. Shango was the god of lightning and thunder. And in Nigeria, there, there are places that sit on really high ground, uh, and there are some metals in the soil. And so lightning can strike straight into the ground. Very often, it will dig down into the soil and dig up evidence of past Neolithic societies. One of the objects that's really common to show up to kind of be revealed from a lightning strike is a, is a stone axe. And as a result, the stone axe is one of the symbols of Shango. And uh, Shango worshipers, Shango believers, will actually follow places that have been struck by lightning during a lightning storm. And they will pick up those Neolithic tools and Neolithic axes and keep them often in a bowl like that. African animation companies making images like the one behind me did not have to wait for the likes of Marvel Studios to create imagined Afrocentric universes. But Black Panther through the world of Wakanda has certainly given that a boost. In Lagos, there's a thriving animation business and Princess Abumere visited one of the studios. This may look like a basic sketch. But really, this animator is creating a character for a cartoon. Many animation studios in Nigeria produce their visuals for commercial purposes. But right here in Lagos, Commercial Studios is one of the few producing 2D and 3D animations purely for entertainment and education. 
2016, Kola Wale Olariwaju embarked on a project that would make history in this industry. His team sought to bring attention to the industry by telling a different kind of story with a short film titled Dawn of Thunder. Commotion Studios brought to life the story of Shongo, a traditional Yoruba god of thunder, using animation to preserve a traditional folklore. It's something that a lot of people have always wanted to see come to life. It's one of the representations of Africa that everybody kind of recognizes. So it, it seemed like a no-brainer. Everybody was going to be excited by it. So when we went at it, we just wanted to see how far it would go, uh, what the mileage would be and the acceptance because of the fact that we, we're basically a religious society and we're dealing with something really cultural. Dawn of Thunder has been shown at film festivals in Nigeria and abroad receiving positive reviews. This project has removed limitations and given the studio the opportunity to tell a tale as old as time. What we're trying to do was to tell uh, an African story, the African way, using technology and using uh, using tools that would be able to portray them properly. Right now, there's a lot of uh, attention on the animation industry and people are kind of realizing now that it's going to be an economy booster in the long run. With the growing demand for engaging high-definition visuals, special effects and animation could be just what the Nigerian film industry needs to enhance its viewers' experience. In the last three years, Nigeria's film industry has made big strides in delivering engaging stories in quality motion picture, but the animation industry has tended to lag behind. Now, that could be changing. Globally, it's a $250 billion industry, and we haven't even scratched the surface as, you know, as a country. We haven't even, we're not even invited to the party, you know what I mean? Uh, but what, over time, I think what's happening right now is there's sort of a kind of an emergence. Despite many challenges, including a lack of electricity, funding and training, the Nigerian government believes this industry could be a contributor to economic growth. Princess Abomer, BBC News, Lagos.